As you start to create the content for your design system, it actually makes sense to organize that content right from the start. Now that involves best practices for setting up your artboards that contain all the content. So let's start by looking at a few final design kits. I have opened a simpler design system and all of the content is on a single artboard. Now the content is organized by color, type, and use cases like logos, buttons, icons, and so on. Since people will be utilizing the content in this document, it's best to label everything properly and lock those labels in case someone is in here trying to select that content directly. Let's look at a little larger design system. I've got this semantic UI kit open, which you can find by going to File, Get UI Kits, More UI Kits. On the page that opens in your browser, you can download it and open it in XD. In a design system, it pays to design so it can scale. That means you can add different artboards for the different parts of your system. Now in this example, you can see artboards for everything from icons here to cards and examples here. You can even select an artboard and change its fill. Maybe to show a series of white icons on a black background or this example of a menu system. Now this document actually has a navigation system included to view everything, which makes it easier to look at. By clicking desktop preview, you can navigate via this sliding menu system and easily jump from section to section. Okay, back in our design system, we'll add a few artboards to get the idea and we'll label them. With the select tool selected, double click the artboard name here and change it to components. This will be our first artboard. Now to make copies of this artboard, you'll duplicate it. So press Command and D on Mac OS or Control and D on Windows a few times. That way we have three artboards. To change the names of the new artboards, double click the first one here and change it to color and typography. And the third artboard here change to icons. Using this method, you can create as many artboards as you need. Okay, now I'm gonna add some navigation like we saw on the larger design system. So with this nav file open, enter prototype mode by selecting prototype up here. That way we capture everything. To copy these two artboards and all the content, drag across the artboards. Copy them by pressing Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. Back in our design system document, to ensure that all the connections are pasted, enter prototype mode by clicking prototype up here. Then paste the artboards by pressing Command V on Mac OS or Control V on Windows. Now I can copy that nav bar and paste it onto the different artboards. So I'll copy the nav bar. I'll select the artboards and it paste it into the same relative position on each. I now have a somewhat working navigation system. The last step is to add the menu items we need. So zoom into the menu, and to make the menu, we need to be in design mode. So click design up here. To make copies easily, select the menu, and you'll make it a repeat grid. So click repeat grid. I'll drag the bottom down to reveal more copies. Right now, we've only got three artboards, so I'll make three. You can then drag in between each of these elements to change the spacing. Now to change the names of each of these menu items, double click on the text here a few times, and then I'll just change the name. I'll do it for one, and then I'll do it for the next here. Now to finish up, I'm gonna go in and make links to the proper artboards here. So we need to go into prototype mode to do that. So I'll click on prototype, and I'll click the first one here and drag a connecting handle to the first artboard. These are just simple links, so we're going to make sure the trigger is tap. We just have a transition, going to the right destination. We'll set the animation to dissolve, and we should be done. You can now go to each one of these and do exactly the same thing. You can click on another menu item, make the link, and you've got yourself the start of a menu system. As you build your design system, you can begin to build this out by adding more menu items, adding more links. The navigation system itself is set up. In other words, if you preview the actual menu, if you click on this little hamburger menu icon, it's going to open up the menu and have it slide in. Okay, with things set up and beginning to be organized, we can now start to save or capture the different types of assets we need.